Hey everybody, I'm going to tell the sad story of the brisket kid here, and how he grew up on the wrong side of the tracks and didn't get all the opportunities he needed, and now he decided to pull a knife on the wrong person. Alright, that's not true. Just happened to have a brisket I'm fixing to smoke, decided to dress him up in a Phineas and Ferb shirt, and test a little bit of the serrated versus non-serrated edge as it goes through cloth and into flesh. I don't have a lot of room here. What I'm just going to do is just kind of like cut and slice and maybe, I guess no reason to stab, but just let's see how it slices. Got my sweet gloves on. And let's see if there's a difference between how this can go through a shirt and into flesh and what we got here. This is just kind of curious, my curiosity. Hopefully it makes for a good video. If not, you're not going to see it. And if you didn't see it, then I don't know what I'm telling you about it. Alright, here we go. I'm going to try the non serrated first. Just in here, we'll check it out directly afterwards. Let me move this just a little bit this way. So I don't bonk myself. Alright, here we go. Alright, that's three. Three slices. Let's see what happened here. Alright. Look at that. Holy heck. Can you see that? It went through the t-shirt. And a good inch into the flesh all along this thing. Same thing here. Same thing there. Dang. I'm not going to be able to cook my brisket right. Alright, I'm going to flip this over. Um, sorry, Mr. Brisket. I have to stab you in the back. Alright, hold on, let me pause this while I flip the brisket. Alright, so there's the back of the shirt. I'm going to take some cuts right here with the serrated towel, four inch towel, and let's just see what happens here. Alright. Ooh. Look at that, right through the shirt. Holy cow, that will mess you up. That one's not too deep. I mean, that's a good three quarters of an inch deep. Through the shirt, and through the shirt. Now this is into fat, so I'm gonna check, check the out, I'll check the other one out into the fat, see how that works a little bit better. They're a little bit different. So right now they're kind of neck and neck, let's see. Sound effects provided by me. All right. All right, let's see where we're at here. You know, just looking at that, if you got a sharp towel war, I don't think it's gonna make a difference too bad. But I'm not a knife expert, but just showing you what keeping your knife sharp will do for you. You know what, let's keep moving on down. This is fun. All right, here we go again. I'm just gonna do one whack, one whack, just a whack, straight whack, like you're blocking something. Oh, diddly squat. I tickled him. Let's see what a whack does with the normal blade here. Oh, diddly squat to him. All right, a little whack and pull. Here we go, a little slice. See, it's going in pretty deep. I mean, that's through the shirt. You're still getting in half inch into the, into the flesh there, so. All right, let's see what it does with this part here. All right, this will be the last one right here. I mean, I'm barely going in. I mean, I'm barely doing this, and this is going right through the shirt and into that fat. So, I would say right now, just from looking at it, I'm not an expert, of course. This is just non-scientific testing on lunch or dinner, actually. But as far as serrated versus non-serrated, it's not looking like a humongous difference. But maybe on, like, naked flesh or something, it would really tear into it. Maybe through something tougher. I was going to break out my jacket, my, but then I realized I'd never be able to buy another one. 
So, check that out. Just tears right through t-shirt material. Tears, <laughs> look at that. Oh, dang. That serrated just messed that up. Right through the fat and everything. So either way, keep them sharp. You know what you're doing a little bit. You're going to mess something up. Alright, so this is going to be off to the smoker. Like here. Subscribe here. Leave a comment. Condolences to Mr. Brisket. The Brisket Kid. And I will talk to you all later.